Hey, beautiful people. I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk a little bit about how to deal with toxic family members. So let's talk about it. You guys, many of you all can attest to this, that there are people in your family that are toxic, that are toxic towards you, that have belittled you, that have talked bad about you, that have spit dirt on your name. There are some people in your family that are jealous of you. There are some people in your family that do not have your best intentions at heart and never have. There are some people in your family that do not have your back and have never had your back. There are some people in your family that will throw you the under the bus if they could. There are some people in your family that you're just now realizing never were for you. These people were never for you. They were always secretly against you. They were always secretly plotting against you. They were always gathering up and talking behind your back. Some of y'all are just now coming to the realization of this. You have tried to be cool with these people throughout the years. You have tried to give to these people throughout the years. Um, you have tried to, you know, love them even though you feel like they, you know, don't necessarily care 100% about you, you have still tried to make situations work with these people. You have tried to um, be the bigger person in a lot of the situations. You have always tried to show love to them and they never appreciate it. They never returned the love. They never returned um, the same energy that you gave them. No, these people were never for you. And it's kind of hard to digest because you would believe that these people are like we're born from the same family. We have the same type of blood running in our veins. And I love and people love to say this thing that blood is thicker than water. But no, no, no. All blood ain't your family. All blood is not your family. You have to know that. And when you see people who are being toxic and people who mean you no good and people who wish on your downfall and they happen to be family members, you have got to be willing to cut them off as well. This is not an easy pill to swallow, I understand, because you've been conditioned to believe that family is everything. A lot of you have been conditioned to believe that family is everything. And that is not true. That is not true. Even Jesus said himself, think not that I come to bring peace. No, but I come to bring division in a family like a sword between that where mother will be against daughter, daughter against mother, father against son, son against father, and vice versa, cousins and everybody against each other. And it wasn't like he was pinning people together or pinning people against each other but what he's saying is that this truth that he is this truth that God gives to you this light that he gives to you is going to cause division it's not that it's intentional it's by nature going to cause division when you are a chain breaker in your family when you are the black sheep of your family when you are the cast out of your family when you are the, the castaway of the family, understand that you're, it's only like that because of what God has given you to do. You have an assignment. You are being called to break the gener generational curses in your family. You are being called to be set apart. That's why you don't get along with everybody. That's why you can't go with the flow of what everybody is doing. That's why you questioned a lot of things in your family. That's why you were set apart and treated differently. You were treated differently be, differently because you weren't the same. You were treated diff differently because that treatment of you is what is causing you to become the strongest version of yourself in order to do the work that God has for you. You see, the work that God has for you is not lightweight. Let me say it again. The work that God has for you is not lightweight. The calling that he has on your life is not mediocre. The calling that he has for you on your life is for you to shine bright. It's for you to be calling the masses and bringing them into alignment with God as one. 
your job is not just any type of job. Your calling is not any type of calling. So you couldn't fit in. You weren't supposed to fit in. You're not here to fit in. You understand? So those people who are being toxic in your life, whether it's relationships or family members, you have to be willing to walk away. You have to be willing to cut people off. And I know that's hard because you're always you're going to be like, well, how? What if it's my parent? Yes, yes. Some of y'all are going to have to cut your parents off, and that doesn't necessarily mean forever. It means that at some point, if they're very toxic, you might have to cut them off. You might have to block them, just to get your sanity, just to have your peace, just to tap into the true essence of who you are, just to. Uh, continue to heal and grow and become the best version of yourself you may have to put some people on block that's just the honest truth and i'm gonna always keep it real with you so do not feel like oh you know the bible says honor your father and mother yes it does say that but honor is like respect you don't have to be disrespectful you don't be disrespectful to your parents but it's not disrespectful to disrespectful to say um well you're not benefiting my life like your toxicity is causing more destruction than peace in my life so i have to let you go for now and hopefully in that season they will get their mind together and become the best versions of their self and see themselves for who they have been and who they are and if not you have to be willing to let go completely and that's okay OK, don't fall for the guilt trips that people may try to place on you to make you feel like you're doing something wrong for taking care of you. Don't fall for the guilt trips that some may try to place on you for making you feel like you're wrong for wanting better for yourself. Like you're wrong for not wanting to participate in their dysfunction. Don't allow people guilt trip you into believing that because they will try to. And some of your toxic family members will have other family members try to call, call you or contact you in some way to tell you, you know, that's not right. You shouldn't treat this person. Don't fall for the hype. Do not fall for the hype. They're toxic. You let them go. Your peace is very important at this time. At this season in your life, your peace is everything. And you got to be willing to let go of anybody who threatens that peace. Your peace in this life is important and you have to be willing to let go of anyone or anything that disturbs that peace. If you're growing and you're doing self-work and you're becoming the best version of yourself and you're getting into alignment with God and your purpose and who he called you to be and who you were created to be, you have to be willing to let go of anything that stands in the way of that. Even Jesus said himself, if anybody loves their mother or their father or their sister or their brother or anybody more than me, then they're not even worthy of me. And what is Jesus? Jesus is the way. Jesus was the truth, the life. You understand? So in order to have life, in order to walk in your truth, in order to know the way to God, which is in you and you and him in order to be connected and in alignment mind body and spirit then you must be willing to let go of anything that is in the way that is a hindrance to your growth and that's just plain and simple anybody can get it when it comes to your peace anybody can be cut off when it comes to your mental health anybody can be cut off when it comes to you becoming the best version of yourself and people trying to hinder that growth in you. You have to be willing to let people go who mean you no good. Who mean you no good. Who talk bad about you. And stop with this conditioning that you've been conditioned to believe. If you've been conditioned to believe that family is everything. No, no. Jesus told his own mother 
Why? You know, who is my mother? Who is my brother? It's those who do the will of God that's my family. That's your true family. The ones who are in alignment with God and living in their purpose and doing what they are supposed to be doing and that have your best intentions at heart, that's your family. That's the people who will ride for you. Those are the ones who will do you uh, the, the best. Those are the ones who will do you well. God said that there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Closer than a brother. You understand? So you just have to know that. And you just have to be willing to let go of anybody who is toxic and showing up toxic um, in your family, in your relationships. God did not intend for you to stay connected with people who mean you no earthly good. That is not God's intention for you. That is not God's best. You can't help the family that you were in, but you can help the friends that you create. You can help the people that you allow in your life, the people that you allow in your circle. You can help that. You can't help the, the family that you were born in. So you're not supposed to be so devout to them that you lose yourself, that you can't grow, that you can't become the best version of yourself because these people are constantly trying to dim your light because of their own darkness, because of their own issues, because of their own traumas that they refuse to deal with, that they refuse to grow from, that they refuse to heal from. That is not your problem. That is not your issue. That is not your responsibility. Everybody is responsible for themselves. And you cannot take on the toxicity of other people especially as a chosen one. And if you were the black sheep of the family, you're called for a greater purpose. You are the generational curse breaker in your family. You are the one to lead the, the, uh, the breakthrough in your family. You are like Moses in Israel to break free, to break the, the, the uh, Israelites free from Pharaoh. You are Moses, you understand? And Moses as Moses had to go out into the wilderness for 40 years for a time before coming back to his family of origin to helping them be delivered. He had to go out into the wilderness and get his mind together and get his mind right and to meet God and to know God and to know the ways of God and to be purged of all iniquity. And then he was able to come back to deliver his family. You see. And not only his family, but many others who were in bondage as well, his people. But you're not going to be able to do that if you're not willing to separate yourself from people who mean you no good. From people who don't have your best interests at heart. You are Moses, you understand, chosen one. You are Moses. You are the chain breaker of your family. So in order to help them become the best versions of themselves... You must first become the best version of yourself and that is cutting off all toxicity, period. Anybody can get it. It doesn't matter. It may be hard, but you got to be willing to do that and do it in love. Don't do it with bitterness or anger or anything. Do it in love. Separate from people in love and block and delete if you need to. You understand? Now, there. this might be just a season of blocking and deleting toxic people, or it might be indefinitely. You gotta be okay with that either way. Cause sometimes people, you'll you'll uh, go in the wilderness to get your mind together, to, to get your peace back and to build yourself back up. Whole time they're getting more toxic. You know, they're collecting more demons. They're collecting more toxicity into themselves. So you can't help that. You can't control other people. You can only control yourself. You know, and some people you may have to block for life out of your life. And that's okay. And then there's some that you're just blocking for a season. And that's okay. All right. I'm just here to tell you guys that somebody needs this message. I feel it in my soul, in my being. I woke up to this today. That is some people out there who are dealing with toxic family members and aren't sure 
how to deal with them. And I'm giving you the message here. This is the message for you. All right. All right, beautiful people. I hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Until next time, peace, blessings, and love to you all. I love you all so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you again. Bye.